Hi guys, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I am going to teach you what software you need to code a website. You are able to code the HTML, CSS or any language in that software. Here, I am going to write Notepad++. The Notepad++ is a simple software which we use to code the website or any language. We can code the JavaScript, PHP, MySQL, HTML, CSS here click on the first link and from the website you are able to download the notepad plus plus freely click on this link and you are able to download this software and here I'm going to click on this and here save onto my desktop here it's going to download and now and here is the setup of the notepad plus plus you can right click on it and then you are able to install this software what you need to do just click on it and then you need to click ok and then next 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 you will install this software easily now i have already installed this software i'm going to click on cancel and now here i'm going to show you how it look like here is the software notepad plus plus here i'm going to open the notepad plus plus and here you see that this is just a simple software as compared to the other softwares that are used for web development and now here I want to tell you some other things about the Notepad++ and the browsers. Before doing the web development or code any website you need to update your browser. What is this thing? The many HTML5 and CSS3 properties that are new in the in these languages are not able to run normally in the old versions of the browsers. So you need to update your browser. Click on this icon and then settings. And here click on the about. And this is this method is for the Google Chrome and here it is checking the Google Chrome is up to date. So this is a way of updating the Google Chrome and if you have if you are using the Mozilla Firefox then click on this icon and options and click on update and you need to check this option. And otherwise if you have the old version of the Firefox then uninstall it and download the new version of the Firefox and if you are using the Opera then click on this icon then click on this icon and go to the settings or you can go to the about Opera and here you see that it is checking for updates and it is up to date so this is the way you need to update your browser and the second thing is how to save the file, how to render the file in the Notepad++, go to the Notepad++ and then here I'm gonna write any simple text and then you need to save your file, go to the file and then save as and here I'm gonna save this file on desktop and here I'm gonna write the file name is test and then here we need to select the type of the file what is the type of the file the type of the file might be HTML CSS JavaScript or anything here click on this icon and here I'm gonna select the HTML and here is the HTML hypertext markup language file dot HTML and here it adds the dot HTML extension you can save this file and here this file is safe and now I'm gonna view the file here is the file is on the desktop here is the file test here is the file and now this is the file of type HTML. If we don't know the type of the file, then what is the method? Uh, then how we know the type of the file? Right click on it, go to properties, and here you see that this is the Chrome HTML document.html is its type. And now when we open this file, then it render in the Chrome. 
because my default browser is the Chrome you can render this file in the Firefox in the Opera but here this file is execute or render in the Chrome in the browser uh, so here I want to tell you another thing the if we want to edit this file or want to edit the code of this file then right click on it and go to the edit with notepad and here the file is open in the notepad and you can add some extra text and here we have to save this text and then what we need to do just reload this file then it's load the new text in the file and here I'm gonna add some other text it is the random text and now let's load it and here it's edit but now here I'm gonna add some text but here I have not saved the file and let's check it reload it and here you see that the new text is not added into into the file because we have not saved the file we have not saved this text we have to save the text and then reload it so it reload the new text that is added into it so now this is the way of saving the file and you can also create the file of type CSS here I'm going to create a file new file and here is the simple text and then save it as the T2 or here is the t2 and then here we need i'm going to save this file with the extension of dot css here is the css dot css and you can also write this extension on your own here i'm going to write this extension dot css and then save this file and here is this file so this is the way of how we create the file and how we execute the files in the browser and here is the CSS file this is the CSS file and you can also execute this file in the Firefox here I'm gonna drag this file in the Firefox and here it execute so I hope you understand my lecture if you have any problem so kindly add the discussion on Udemy I will help you as much as I can thank you for watching this video